Hi, I'm Mike from Scottadelic, and how can you do a Hi Woman's? <laughs> Hi, I'm Mike from Scottadelic, and how can you do a Hi Woman's hitch? Oh, find out. Hi, I'm Mike from Scottadelic, and if you haven't already, come on, subscribe. It's very simple to do, it means a lot to me, it's free to do, and you help supporting me and my channel to grow and do all sorts of things. So scroll on down, if it's red, click the subscribe button, it means that you get notified every time I make a new video, and it might inspire you to do something differently. Today, I'm gonna to teach you my favorite knot of all time. When I was a scout, there was only one knot that I did remember, and I remembered it well, and it's always stuck with me and there was like sort of time challenges of how to do it fast and I was really up there and I could do it really fast and then pull it, it was, it was great, it was great fun, it was my best knot, it was the only knot that I remember ever. So the clovich, the sheep shank, the uh, sheep bend, all of those I didn't remember at all. This is the only knot that I did, which was the high woman's hitch. Now the story that I got told, and I know it's not true, but the story was that high women would use this knot to tie up their horses, and they would find a pole, and they would tie it up. The horse would not go anywhere, so the horse would be pulling away, and it couldn't obviously disappear. So they would rob the bank, bang, 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 bang. So all they would do is pull the other, disappear and they'd ride off into the sunset. Favourite knot of all time. So how you do it is, you need a pole, all right? So you need something that is the like sort of constant and you need a hoop. And the idea is, so you put the hoop around the pole, yeah? So you should be able to see the two bits of rope here and the hoop, okay? And the hoop goes around, so guess what? You can still see inside the hoop the two bits of rope. You can see this one, you can see this one, okay? So you select one of them. It could be either one, so it could be the left one, it could be the right one, okay? So you select the one that you are gonna pull upwards and you pull down on the other, okay? Yeah, like so. So that gives you another hoop. See where I'm going with this, okay? And now this hoop, you pull the opposite. So if you did the left one, you're gonna pull the right one through, and you're gonna pull the left one at the back there, okay? So this is the one that's not gonna go anywhere. It's gonna be tight and everything else. And when you pull the other one, off like that. I'm gonna show you it from obviously a bird's eye view as well. So what you need to do is, you need to get the hoop, Yep, and the hoop goes over like that, so you can see both the left and the right hoop. Kind of looks like uh, the top of a pair of scissors in a way, uh, but the pole is between. So you see, like that, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna select one. Always, I would go, always left one first. So pull the left one up, and you pull the right one too, okay? So you're tightening up the right one, so that you've now got a new hoop, and you have still your left and your right here. So you've done the left one, so you're gonna take the right one through and you're gonna pull the left one tight, okay? That means now, if you pull the left rope, it's not gonna go anywhere. You pull the right rope, gone. I loved this so much because you can do it very quickly, like so, like so, like that. And as, a, as you know already, I'm gonna teach you a game as well. So what you do is you get every single uh, group, so whether it's sixes, whether it's obviously um, patrols, whatever, and they have one rope in front of them. And what they need to do is, there will be a leader at the other, other, other end of the hall, with a pole. It could be a broom handle, it can be. This is technically the end of a broom. It could be a broom handle, it could be a pole, it could be anything. It's even, you can do it with your hands. Look, like that. 
Look at this. It's me doing it like that. Here we are. It's on. Oh, you can do it with anything. But if you've got a pole, so leaders at the other end with a pole and each of your groups is lined up. So if you've got enough leaders to do this, have obviously one leader per group. If you haven't, two leaders, for two, uh, one leader for two groups. Uh, and if you're really struggling, one leader for four groups. Wouldn't suggest it, okay? The idea is it's like a relay race. So first person will get the, the uh, rope, run up, do the knot, okay? Like so. Show that it's obviously, it's not gonna go anywhere with that one. And then pull and then go back. The leader says, yes, that's fine. Then next one comes through. The quickest, the best, all right? This is the best and fun not to do. And if you tell them the story about obviously high women, then it makes it more fun. I learned it, I enjoyed it by learning that and doing that and like sort of game. And it was, it was just amazing. It's the best pitch in the world. And don't let anyone else tell you otherwise because I've got, a, I've got an orange stick and I'm happy to hit them. <laughs> I probably won't, I'm very nice confessor. This is the best knot. Hopefully you'll learn it. Hopefully I've taught you it well. If you have liked it, then please give it a thumbs up and share it around because it's my favorite knot of all time. It is my my all time favorite, my all time best. Um, I hope you've enjoyed these videos. Um, I've enjoyed showing you some of my knots and I will see you again soon for another one of these. Goodbye.